Hey, Gandalf. What you got a beard here? What's this? What's this? What you got going there? What you got going there? You funny dog, dude. Come on. Sit. Today is April 27th, 2022, and Weather Canada has put out a special weather advisory saying we might get up to 15 centimeters of snow. Oh well. The sucky part is we were going to go to Costco today. We can't do that anymore. It's just overcast and wet snow right now. We'll see what happens later. Gandalf, leave the cats alone. Hey. Leave the cats alone. They're part of your herd. Laba, hey, no, don't bite me. Sit. Sit. Laba. Go boy, Gandalf. Go boy, Stalter. Go boy. Hey, Jos. Go boy. Go boy, fatty. You're such a good doggy. Now I'll give you a treat, okay? Hang on, hang on. Hey. Guys, it's outdoor time. It's springtime. You're supposed to be outside. Why you want to go inside? Hey, why do you guys want to go inside? There's nothing to do inside. Okay, fats. Wait. 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 Good boy. Yeah. This is the little plant area. It's my kale, basil, some peppers. This little guy, Pepper, he was wrapping himself around uh, the basil, so we'll give him a few days and see if he'll straighten himself out. These guys are peppers inside here with some tomato. No, yeah, I think, no, I think they're all pepper. These guys are tomato and the pepper. It's a pepper too, I think. And then over here, that's my lovely lavender. Uh-huh. Some of the chamomile. I uh, forgot to water them for a couple of days, maybe a week. And they dried up a bit. But that's it. So today marks two weeks that we've had the chicks at our house. We've had to make a couple of changes because they're growing and their needs are changing a bit. So this is what the brooder looks like right now. We've had to add this mesh. They haven't jumped out yet, but they're able to jump onto the water in the feeder, which is a very short hop over the edge. And they probably do just fine outside the box, but I don't want to have to clean up their poop everywhere. So. Hello, ladies. Good morning, ladies. Hi girls! Come on! Come here girls! Oh yes! Look at you go! Look at you go! Come on you beautiful little birdie! You beautiful little birdie! Look at you go! Oh you got food stuck on your feathers! So you've noticed I'm sure their feathers have really come in. I'll show you on this little bugger. Look at that. So feathers all the way up the wing and onto the back. And also, if you can see, the tail. There you go. There you go. You're free to go, little birdie. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Yeah, you are, you cutie. How are you doing? So you can see we've changed the waterer. This is brand new from this morning. Um, they, they're able to, to hop onto the jars. And as you can see over here, they poop. And they're standing on the jar and poop straight down into the water, which is very frustrating because you have to change the water all the time. So I got this guy here, um, where it's round and they can't stand on that part. And once in a while, they'll hop up onto there and um, 
Yeah. No, who can? Even if they do, it's not gonna fall directly into the water. Come on, girls. Come on, girls. Come on, girls, you beautiful girls. Hey, baby, how are you? Yeah, you're beautiful. You're just so beautiful. Look at you. Look at you. Aww. I need to come up a name with a name for you because you always come to me. I won't ever be able to eat you. Aww, he's so pretty. Look at you go. And then I got a bunch of ones that are huddling in the corner there. This is new from today, so I wonder if they're still a little suspicious of it. And I've been feeding them a lot of that wet stuff. <laughs> Hey, calling it, people call it fermented feed, but I don't let it sit long enough to ferment all the time just because sometimes I forget to put it from before. And I'm only using one container right now. I've switched over to a jar. So this is what I'm using nowadays. So it's a 1.8 liter or something like that jar. I fill it up about halfway, maybe two thirds. Oh, look, we got a little uh, percher. Yeah, we need to get some roosts for you guys. I'm sure you would enjoy that very much. Um, the plan is to get them into the coop after we move. I don't think I've told you. Maybe I have. We bought a new place just down the road. It's a bigger property. Um, the house is just a bit bigger, but it'll fit us a bit better. So I'm going to leave. Let's see how these guys do, because they look a little traumatized there in the corner. Hmm. So when we move, there's a coop there. I'll just have to disinfect it, and um, then they can move in. I'm, hope I'm going, planning on expanding their run. Okay, they have heat over in this corner here, so I'm just going to leave and come back, make sure that they're okay. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.